Yo, what is up guys? So for today we're gonna be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're gonna be looking at the Vanguard playlist weapons. Last time we did the Crucible, this time we're gonna do the Vanguard, and last but not least, we'll do the Gambit weapons. So, let's look at the third Axiom. It is an adaptive frame pulse rifle in the energy slot, which is an arc damage weapon, and I'm still not sure if I like this weapon or not. I have a, a role that people might like, so let's look at the roles real quick. Surplus, Killing Wind, Feeding Frenzy, Moving Target, Zen Moment, Quick Draw, Slideways, Genesis, Range Finder, Subsistence, Hip Fire Grip, and Slide Shot for the first row. For the second row, it's going to be Multi Kill Clip, Rampage, One For All, Unrelenting, Thresh, Sympathetic Arsenal, Dragonfly, Disruption Break, Opening Shot, Head Seeker, Vorpal Weapon, and Elemental Capacitor. So this has a lot of perks obviously it's a playlist weapon playlist weapons usually have a fuck ton of play uh, perks the only issue i have with this is that uh the the rounds per minute on this you really do feel it not only that but at least the perks that i got i kind of don't really care about if i remember correctly i got quick draw and head seeker if i remember correctly and um i don't know if i like head seeker or not if you're, if you're gonna ask me pvp and pve roles for pve i would probably tell you like ah dude it's so hard to say it may, like i know a few people would want to do feeding frenzy i personally don't like feeding frenzy anymore because the stacks to gain like a good enough reload speed is just too high for me uh, although this is a pulse rifle so you probably could kill more than one from each shot so there is that uh, I like Killing Wind. Killing Wind is like one of my personal favorites, but I do understand that that's not like a good PvE perk. I think Surplus would probably be the one that a lot of people go for. Personally, I probably be, probably would go for Quick Draw, just because I feel I like the snappiness of it. I would probably say Subsistence is another one people would probably want to go for. I don't like Subsistence at all, so I would never go for this one. And again, there's just like a few perks that I just like don't see the point like zen moment unless you're on controller P on pc it's useless uh genesis no range finder maybe but uh, it's so hard to say because the maps are not that big uh hit fire grip no unless you're weird uh slide shot does reload your weapons magazine and temporarily boost range and stability so there is that although slideways is essentially the same thing but it boosts handling and stability so did pick your poison from there uh for the second slot multi-kill clip rampage one for all uh maybe disruption break if you're doing like high-end activities i would probably say stay away from vorpal weapon just because i don't think this is a good weapon for that um for pvp quick drop moving target zen moment if you're on controller and then for the last one probably like rampage multi-kill clip one for all head seeker if you like that i know a lot a few people will go for opening shot i i don't know what it is it's probably the archetype but i just do not like this gun don't get me wrong i've been having a lot of fun with my head seeker one it's just it head seeker as a perk irks me so that's why i like i just don't like it but yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments below like i said i just don't really i don't have no feelings to i'm i'm super indifferent about this weapon like I've heard people say it destroys, it slaps, it, I, I love it. That's cool. I have certainly seen myself destroy people with this gun. It's just that I just don't enjoy it. So let's look at Royal Entry. So this is really funny because I've actually tried to do this video before. And the reason I did it again is because uh, some dumb reason. But basically, I, the footage you're watching right now, it was me just playing with both weapons because I didn't want to do the usual where, where I go into a, a lost sector and just record stuff, especially since Royal's entry, I don't do that for rocket launchers because of, of what's the point. So I ended up using it and lo and behold, I did not know it was a precision frame, even though I made the review for it. So Royal entry is a legendary power weapon, rocket launcher, obviously, and it is void, we void damage one. So. A lot of people are gonna be like well it doesn't ma doesn't matter that it's a precision frame it actually does matter because you get a free perk so essentially this weapon fires a small auto tracking missile missiles lock onto targets when aimed so this already has auto locking so you don't have to worry about ever missing your shots unless like you do something dumb so 
this is really cool because now I'm actually going to try to farm for a god roll for this. And I hate myself because I just got a god roll for the this season's rocket launcher. The other one from the event. So let's look at the perks real quick. Field prep. Auto loading holster. Impulse amplifier. Quick draw. Underdog. Range finder. Threat detector. Genesis. Moving target. For the first row. For the second row it's going to be chain reaction. Lasting impression. Clown cartridge. Wellspring. Cluster bomb. One for all, Thresh, Unrelenting, Ambitious Assassin, and Demolitionist. So, let's talk about this. If you're going to ask me what my god roll for PvE would be, it's going to be Auto Loading Holster with Lasting Impression. Like, those two hands down are the roles that I'm actually going to go for. Because not only do I have Auto Loading Holster and Lasting Impression, but I also have Tracking Missiles. So, this is honestly this is not like the biggest deal like auto auto tracking is nice it's definitely nice but it's because you're getting a third perk that gets me really excited for this so i'm definitely going to try to farm this weapon however way you farm playlist weapons which is just play the playlist it's just unfortunate because the chances of me getting an auto loading holster with lasting impression and like something that increases my blast radius for like the barrels and then the magazines just there's so much to it but i thankfully sunsetting is over so i can i can do this like no problem and auto loading holster with lasting impression this one's obviously like a solo god roll for me like this is gonna be a god roll that i'm doing when i'm doing like solo stuff for myself this is probably wouldn't be good for a group thing just because by the time your second uh, lasting impression shot blast, the boss or enemy is probably already dead. So this is definitely something for solo play. Uh, for more players, probably like Clown Cartridge. Uh, Clown Cartridge, it, it always procs for me and I'm always getting two rockets. So yeah i i personally am gonna want to get this especially for my warlock since it does void damage uh i'm just really excited to farm this rocket launcher which is something i didn't think i would ever say ever so there is that uh that's pretty much it uh let me know your, your thoughts in the comments below about the weapons it's really weird because i didn't think i would like the rocket launcher more than the pulse rifle but there that is let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Are you excited for the for the weapons? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. Thank you everyone for the support and I will see you guys later.